guys, it's Jessie V. So I know the lighting is really, really different than usual, and that's because I just got a ring light, and I'm not too sure if I like it or not yet, but it works for the time being. Because before I was filming all of my videos in my bedroom in front of my window, so I only had natural lighting, which meant that I could only film during certain hours of the day. So now that I have my ring light, I'm filming in my basement, so the sound might be different, the lighting might be different. This is only temporary until I move into my new house in a few months, and then I will have perfect lighting and everything so just bear with me on this guys gonna be moving out soon I'm so excited and I'll have my own studio so don't mind this temporariness all right so the other week I was watching a horror movie and somehow during this movie Bloody Mary was brought up and just hearing that name brought this huge memory back to me so I was like yes I have to make a V time on this because I had a very interesting Bloody Mary experience back in elementary school I'm sure that most of you know who Bloody Mary is it's a pretty well-known thing, but for those of you who don't, I will briefly explain it for you. The quick version is that she's a very creepy ghost that appears in your mirror if you say her name three times. There are so many different, like, historical versions to her backstory, but a lot of the ones that I found online said that she was a witch named Mary Worth, and she was executed, so she comes back in the mirror as, like, revenge or something. There are so many different versions, guys. Honestly, if you type in Bloody Mary on Google, you'll find a million different stories about her. But the bottom line is that you take a candle into your washroom, you turn off the light, and you spin in circles saying her name three times, and apparently she's supposed to appear to you. <laughs> Some people also say that turning on your sink will help to summon her, and people also believe that if you play this game, there are huge consequences. Like she'll rip your eyes out, you'll get claw marks on your body, you'll go insane or drop dead at the sight of her. There are so many different things that people have said. It's a little creepy, I'll admit that. But don't worry too much, because it's just folklore, it's just a game made to freak people out. Because I'll admit, I was freaked out when I even researched her. You know when you're researching something paranormal, like ghosts or something, and you start to regret researching it because you're scared the ghosts will like come and get you now? <laughs> like I was researching Bloody Mary, and after I was done, I'm like looking around my room like, I hope she's not here. Every small noise I heard, I was like, please don't kill me. I'm just trying to make a V time. But anyways, I'm just gonna tell you about my experience because it wasn't very pleasant. And it makes for a good be time. This happened back when I was in elementary school, and for some reason back when I was around the age of 10 or 11, the Bloody Mary game was like a huge thing. It was just a popular thing to do, like kids would walk around and be like, I was brave enough to play the Bloody Mary game last night. Have you played the Bloody Mary game? And if you said you haven't, you'd be like made fun of. It was almost like people got popular for playing the game and coming out alive. And I was a bit curious about this game when I was a child. So eventually my birthday they rolled around and I had this huge party at my house I invited like all the girls in my class it was a sleepover party and we all brought like our sleeping bags and we were painting our nails we were throwing around pillows we were eating popcorn it was very cliche it was a very cliche birthday slumber party and all of a sudden one of the girls brings up the Bloody Mary game she was like we have to play Bloody Mary guys we have to play Bloody Mary like we need to we have to play Bloody Mary and half of the girls were completely for this idea but the other half were completely against this idea and I was probably like in the middle I was intrigued but I was also worried you know one of the girls started telling us a story about a time that she played the game at her grandma's house she said that she locked herself in the bathroom and said Bloody Mary three times and nothing happened for the first like five minutes so she was like okay I guess I'm good and she went to turn the light back on in her washroom and it wouldn't turn back on so she opened the door and ran out of the washroom and as she was running down the hallway the toilet in the bathroom flushed and her like toothbrushes fell into the sink and all of this weird stuff started happening in her washroom as she ran out and this other girl at my birthday party claimed that she actually saw Bloody Mary she said she was playing the game in her house and she saw Bloody Mary's face come up in the mirror and she had like long white hair and her eyes were rolled back I didn't really believe her but a lot of the girls did I was kind of a bit smarter than that and I just assumed that she was just saying that for attention there are like circles in my eyes from these lights guys that's so weird so logically the only way that I could determine if any of this was real or not was to do it myself so while these girls were all 
sitting in a little circle talking about their Bloody Mary experiences. I stand up very dramatically and I'm like, I will do it. I will play the game. It was just super dramatic. It was like I just offered to go fight in battle for my friends or something. I was like, I will go fight the war for you guys. So we all walk up to my upstairs bathroom and a couple of the girls are going over the rules with me. And as they're talking to me, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I'm like, what am I putting myself into? What have I done? So I walked into the washroom and stood right in front of the mirror. I turned on the sink and I turned off the lights and the girls shut the door. So I was just standing there all alone in the dark trying to convince myself that everything was okay. I plugged my ears and closed my eyes and started spinning around in circles saying Bloody Mary three times. On the third time, I slowly opened my eyes and looked in the mirror and I couldn't see anything. So I was like, okay, all is good. There's no Bloody Mary here. This was all fake. But that's when I heard it. I heard a faint whisper, guys. I heard someone whispering my name very softly. I can't even tell you how creeped out I was. It was like, Jess, Jess, I see you, Jess, Jess. It knew my name. So I completely flip out and run for the door. But these silly girls would not let me out. They were literally all leading up against the bathroom door so I couldn't get out. I just remember crying and screaming and like beating on the door to try and get out. I was literally experiencing like real panic. Thank goodness one of the adults downstairs at the party heard me because they like ran upstairs because it sounded like someone was being murdered. <laughs> Anyways, this adult, it was like one of my friend's parents, saw all of the girls like not letting me out of the washroom and she like cleared them out of the way, opened the door for me and there I was standing and I was like, Ugh, Bloody Mary said my name. I was in like complete shock. This parent had to like literally sit me down and tell me all of this was fake. And guess what? One of the girls had in her hands. She had one of those stupid voice changers. They had literally pulled the biggest prank on me. They were saying my name through this voice changer, which I thought as a kid was Bloody Mary. I can't even tell you how upset I was with them. Like so much for being my friends, guys. Thanks very much. You completely betrayed me. It was probably one of the worst birthday parties ever because I was embarrassed for crying and screaming. The girls were laughing at me. I don't know. I was just, it was horrible. But did I see Bloody Mary in the mirror? No. Did I hear her real voice? No. Was it a horrible Bloody Mary game experience? Yes. Will I ever play Bloody Mary again? No. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this story because as a child, I was completely scared. Completely scared. But yeah, as usual, guys, my social media information is below along with my vlog channel and my PO box information, so check that out. And until next time, guys, bye.